In June, supply climbed back to pre-pandemic levels, home prices continue to dip for the fourth consecutive month, and we've got an interest rate hike looming. Let's dive into this month's market update. In this rapidly changing market, there's a lot of uncertainty. I'm here to clear the fog for you folks, so let's dive in and take a look at the big picture. In June, a total of 561 residential homes were sold through the MLS system in Kitchener-Waterloo, which is a decrease of 24% compared to June of 2021. Total residential sales in June included 326 detached homes, 48 semi-detached homes, 103 townhomes, and 84 condo units. So that gives us a good overview. Let's have a look at price. In June, the average sale price for all residential properties in the Kitchener-Waterloo area was just under $792,000. This represents a 4.2% increase compared to June of last year, but a 9.6% decrease compared to last month. The average price of a detached home was just over $920,000. This is the same average price we saw last year, but almost a 10% decrease since last month. The average sale price for a semi was just over $710,000. This represents a 9.5% increase compared to June of 2021, but a decrease of 2.8% compared to last month. The average sale price for a townhouse was just over $662,000. This represents almost a 12% increase compared to last year, but a 6.5% decrease compared to last month. The average sale price for an apartment style condo was just over $497,000. This represents an 11.7% increase compared to June of last year, but a decrease of almost 9% compared to last month. Before we get into my two cents, let's talk about inventory and volume. In June, there are 1,285 new listings added to the MLS system in KW and area which is an increase of 49.2% compared to June of last year, but it's actually a decrease of 10.7% compared to last month. Last month, we had 1,422 listings hit the market. This month, we're down almost 11%. This is typical for this time of the year because typically in the summer, we experience a dip in inventory uh, throughout May, June, July, August. It typically tends to be the lowest and then we'll experience an increase in inventory in the autumn season. The total number of homes available in an active status at the end of June was 991. This is an increase of 165% compared to June of last year and approximately a 10% increase compared to last month, which means inventory's slowly creeping up. The number of months of inventory increased to 1.8 in June compared to 1.6 in May. This means that it would take almost two months to sell off the current inventory that's on the market at the current rate of sales. The average number of days to sell was 13. This is up an extra two days compared to May of this year. Okay, so what are my two cents? What does this mean if you're a buyer or if you're a seller? Sellers, there's a lot of inventory available. If you're paying attention to the market, you're seeing homes in your neighborhood that are sitting on the market for longer. So if you're going to be getting on the market and competing against those homes and buyers are going to be looking at those homes and your home if you're in the same price point, you need to stick out. Your home needs to be prepared, it needs to be clean, it needs to be decluttered, it needs to be staged. If you need to paint or do some lipstick sort of renovations or updates, that's what I would suggest. You need to separate yourself from the competition. Buyers are becoming a lot more reluctant and a lot more picky on what they want to purchase because you're not the only house on the block that's for sale. Everything in your effort that you can control, you need to put the effort in in this market. This is not February of 2022, where any house and any shack was selling at 500K over the asking price. If you need some tips, check out my other videos. We've got some good update options for you to look into. Buyers, this is your time right now. Prices are coming down. Interest rates are creeping up and we're gonna get another interest rate hike, which will limit your affordability. 
but now you are a little bit more relaxed and I'm sure if you're in the market right now, you're seeing that, hey, that house didn't sell last week or this house was holding offers and they didn't get anything. Now they've relisted at a higher price or maybe they're sticking at their current list price. So this is great for you. If you're patient and diligent, you can get a good deal now. Some people and some sellers, uh, I'm sorry sellers, but many of you are unrealistic, uh, whether that's your own expectations or whether that's your counsel that you're getting from your friends or your professional. Uh, you need to come down to reality right now. The market is not what it was a few months ago. Buyers, this is a tremendous opportunity for you. But then again, if you don't need to buy right now, I would say ride it out for a little bit more and see where things are gonna land. If you do need to make a move because of school, job transfers, etc., then make sure you work with a professional that can give you the big picture. Look at the history, look at how long these homes have been on the market. Sellers may have high expectations day one, two, seven on the market, but in four weeks on the market, six weeks on the market, two months on the market, they become a lot more malleable on realistically where their house is gonna sell, uh, sell for. So this leaves a great opportunity for you. If you come in with a great offer uh, that's easy for them to accept, you can get a deal too. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. Subscribe and follow, check out my other videos. Thank you so much and peace out.